Hey there movie fans, this is one one Bronson back here again. Welcome back to another action figure review. As you would probably have read from the title down there, today's figure is going to be the NECA Ultimate Michael Myers from the 2018 Halloween film, which I really enjoyed. I really thought the film was uh, was pretty good, re good return to form for the franchise. And uh, Halloween is my favorite horror uh, series of films. Um, and of all the slasher films, I think Halloween is my favorite, so let's take a look at this figure, shall we? Packaging is up first. Here we go with the packaging, give you a brief glimpse of the figure right over there. Uh, this is the original poster art for the film. Uh, I have stated before, I'm really a fan of this ultimate style packaging. Uh, sticker on there includes a light up flickering pumpkin. Yeah, we're going to take a look at that in a second. Here's the spine. Mecha Real Toys. Here's the bottom, just to give everybody credit. Here's some instructions on the pumpkin that comes with it. And the logos, the barcode. Miramax owns the film. Here's the uh, backside with some great images of the figure. Pretty, quite a decent amount of pictures actually. And then you have Halloween and a read up. It's been 40 years since Laurie Strode survived a vicious attack from crazed killer Michael Myers on Halloween night. She now faces a terrifying showdown when Michael returns to Haddonfield, Illinois. <laughs> but this time, Laurie is ready for him. It includes knife, hammer, fire poker, tombstone, victim hat, Light up pumpkin, interchangeable head, and hands. Um, let's take a look at the top real quick. In which you have the ages 17 up text and warning choking hazard small parts. Not for children under three years. Yes. And then the reason why I love these ultimate packaging is you can just open the flap up and you could leave the figure in there you can always look at it it's a window packaging and um, you have a nice great shot of the image of the of, uh, of the figure within yes so that's packaging let's take a look at this bad boy now shall we michael myers and of course the accessories are up first let's start with the big sticker on the box that says it is, is a light up flickering pumpkin yeah jack o lantern right oh crap that's of course where the batteries go and to make it light up you simply press the top portion here and there you go i wish it was dark for this one but you can kind of hear the halloween theme already right <laughs> yeah, so that's the light up flickering pumpkin. Looks kind of cool, especially from a distance. Yeah, pretty cool, right? Um, he comes with, I believe, two pair of hands. These are just the two alternate left hands. Uh, and there's one that he has on, which we're going to show you. So I don't have all the hands to show you, but I've just picked a few out. Um, here's of course iconic and unmissable for a Michael Myers action figure a kitchen knife right there so yeah do watch out with small ch children because this is uh, pretty pointy and uh, yeah, kind of sharp you can uh, as you can see there from my finger yeah see the little hole leaves beware of small children that's all I'm gonna say um, let's take a look at this hammer. <laughs> um, bloody hammer, actually. Focus. Come on. Yeah, bloody hammer, as you can see. But nicely detailed, and the handle actually has a like wooden texture if you put your fingernail across it. Pretty neat little accessory though. 
I must admit, I do like it. Of course, I'm always going to pose him with the knife because that's more iconic. But this is a nice accessory to have, nonetheless. And then let's take a look at the other potential murder weapon. A fire poker. Which is also pretty nicely detailed and pretty soft, actually. This, I think this is, this is something that could really easily snap or break. Um, so yeah, do be beware of that. Do, however, think it's a pretty neat accessory. So yeah. Now let's take a look at the alternate head sculpt. It's the Michael Myers mask. But for this one, they blacked out the eyes, so... When he is in the dark, you really cannot see his eyes. You know, he has the blackest of eyes. The devil's eyes. <laughs> uh, pretty nicely detailed mask, though, I must say. Not a bad mask at all. Uh, might as well show you the one he has on right now. This is the regular one, for which you can, can actually see the eyes in there a little bit it's still shadowed but it's not fully blacked out you can see it even better if i turn the flash on which we might do for a little portion of this video and that's the regular head sculpt uh, let's take a look at this one you might think this is also an alternate head sculpt but this is actually poor officer francis you know the cop that's taking out the house that laurie and the daughter is in um yeah Michael Myers kind of um, makes a makeshift <laughs> jack-o'-lantern out of the poor guy. Pretty gruesome, pretty nicely detailed. Um, yeah, I love it. <laughs> I love this thing. Severed head, yeah, it's cut off. Gruesome, I love it. And then... Finally, you got a pretty good accessory, a Judith Myers headstone, which actually says, Our beloved daughter, Judith Myers, born November the 10th, 1947, died October the 30, 31st, of course, 1963. Um, it, it is quite thin, uh, it does have some texture to it, but it is a nice display piece, you know. Put this next to the figure with the jack o lantern and stuff you do have some nice uh, display pieces with this one now it's time to look at the figure and i've already showed you the head sculpt is on right now right now in different lighting yeah now you can actually see this one you can see the eyes and stuff with it, right anyway that's the mask like that and the outfit is the iconic michael myers um overalls or coveralls what do you call it with the collar popped up show you the back here a few creases and yeah I love the way the material flows and it's a one-piece suit right and the does have some pretty great looking boots yes work boots I believe right Mechanic boots or something. Yes. Oh yeah, and I'll uh, show you the hand real quick that he has on. This is the one that I chose because I just love how detailed this is with the uh, from the part of the movie where Laurie um, shotgun blasts his um, yeah these two fingers off. <laughs> Believe me, shotgun blast would do more than do do the two fingers, but you know that aside, do love this hand. So that's the hand I chose, and the hand on his um, right arm, um, his right, our left, is uh, the one that can hold the knife. He also has one to hold the hammer, of course, and uh, I believe a open grabbing hand, so yeah. There you go, that's Michael Myers, full attire. Let's take a look at articulation, shall we? And here we go with the articulation, as always, the head is up first. In terms of the head, he can look down that far, look up pretty far actually. Uh, he can do that classic uh, look, you know, you'll know what I'm talking about, that classic head spin, head uh, pivot. <laughs> 
and the head does move 360 degrees all the way around. In terms of the arms, they can rotate 360 degrees all the way around. They can move outwards about that far. And you do, for this one, Naka gave us a double jointed elbow. So his, this would be the normal one, right? Normal bend. But this one bends just a little further because he has a double jointed elbow, which I really love. And then you do have the swivel also, or the turn, if you will, at the elbow there. Um, yeah, you see it turns right there. And of course the hand can spin, rotate, move a little up and down, side to side. You can get him in some great poses. And as far as the torso, you can only kind of like bend him forward, right? Because he does have that necker diaper thing. Not an app crunch or anything. Oh, by the way, the coveralls is like a soft rubber material. It's actually, I don't know, I love the feel of it. You can actually kind of push it inwards a bit. Okay, let's move to the legs quickly. He can kick forward. Uh, about whoa pretty fucking high actually look at that he's like Jean-Claude Van Damme there's some sides to Michael Myers that I don't think we know about I think he has done some martial arts or some martial arts or something anyway he can whoa he can also do a great uh, sidewards kick can he do that with the other hand uh, like I uh, know but uh, anyway it's not wanting to go and knowing that this is a NECA figure I'm not gonna push it because otherwise we might have the leg breaking on camera which is something that I really don't want you do however have a oh, pretty tight you do have a bend there at the knee and a row oh no rotation at the knee Oh, this is tight. We do have a, as you can see, a spin at the top of the leg, so you can spin the leg around. And in terms of foot articulation, yeah, it pivots a bit, but that's about it. Oh, I'm, for, I'm mistaken, it also turns. Yes. So yeah, there you go. That is the articulation, pretty much, for the ultimate Michael Myers from the 2018 Halloween. And there you have it, that was Michael Myers from the 2018 Halloween and Ultimate Form by NECA. Great, awesome action figure as always. This one is still widely available, it's still in stock. So, if you can get your hands on it, I would say go for it. You know, it should, like I said, these figures usually go about, what's the, what, what is the price in dollars? 25 bucks? 30 bucks mostly, at, at most. If you can get it for that price, go for it. Because this is a pretty awesome action figure of uh, Michael Myers. I know that NECA is also on the ultimate Halloween. Halloween 2 Michael Myers, which I'm yet to pick up actually. I'm, I mean, still widely available, but... I think I do have to hurry on that one, so I uh, might pick that up uh, later on this month, maybe. Anyway, I do hope you enjoyed that. Uh, as always, if you really liked the video, leave a like. And if you don't want to miss any other upcoming action figure reviews, hit the subscribe button so you will not miss out. Anyway, thank you all for watching once again. Stay safe. Stay strong. Stay healthy. Keep punching. So long for now.